Okay, so I'm going to give you a quick overview of this. Uh, there's, there's a couple ways that we can do Python, and this is one of the ways that uh, we're going to use in this, uh, I don't know if it's a book, what do you call it, I don't know. Um, but I want to show you some of the features that are really important. So, I mean, here's some text. You can see it right here, and I'm going to have embedded code. So what do you, what do you need to do? So sometimes it's going to be stuff already there. Um, here's a pro This is a program, okay. Uh, this little button right here, if I click, I can run it. Let's just do that. And that's it. Okay. Now the this is a 3D environment. If I right click and I drag with the right click, I can rotate it around. And if I use the scroll wheel, I can zoom. Now, if you don't have a, a scroll wheel, then up here it says click, control click to rotate and alt click to zoom with just a, a trackpad or something like that. Okay, so that's the, the running code. I can switch back to the edit. In some cases, some cases you can't see the code, okay, just because of what I want to do. And there you go. Um, now, what if I want to edit it? You can do that, okay? I can say, let's make it uh, red. Color equals color dot red, and I can rerun it. There you go. So you can, you can modify the code, too. Um, now, if you want to save your own, if I if I say I can't remember what I did wrong, let's just reset it. Go over here to reset, and it goes back to the way it was. There, okay, because I messed up. Um, other features on here, I don't think those are too important. Okay. Now, the other thing that you might want to do right here, what if I I want it to be cyan? Oops. And I think that's awesome. I want to save it. Um, if I want to save it, then you're going to have to create a user account on Trinket.io. Okay. But if you do this right here, create an account, it'll take you through that and you'll be okay. Um, so you can save your own things and you can look at it again later and you should be happy. Okay. So I'm going to use these in the quote instructional stuff. Okay. So that's what it is. Um, now there's another way to do online Python that I'm going to use sometimes too, and that's with GlowScript. So here is, uh, see, you see the address right there, glowscript.org. This is another way to do it. Um, now the only difference here is that you have to have in line one this statement. It'll be there already, GlowScript 1.1 v Python, and that just tells the uh, the page what kind of code you're rewriting. So I can I can run this one. It doesn't have uh, you can see the same thing. We get the same thing. And let me just show you one other cool thing. Um, now, if, if you know, again, if you create an account, then you can log in and save things. But I like this too. Texture equals textures dot earth. Now I run it. And now my sphere is an earth. And that is pretty awesome. Whether you think it is awesome or not, it is. Uh, so over here also, you have, uh, you can't see it, help. And so you can say, oh, how do you do a, um, a sphere? And it'll tell you all the things you need to know about a sphere. Um, and so you're all good there. Uh, how do you work with color? Okay, so you can, you can get all this extra help right there. Um, so that's GlowScript. So I'm going to try to do most of the stuff in Trinket so it can be embedded. But if you want to write a more complicated program, you, know, you might want to do it in GlowScript. You could do it in Trinket, it doesn't matter. The, the thing about Trinket right here is that I can embed it in a web page and so that makes it a little bit easier. So that's what you need to know to get you started with learning physics and numerical calculations.